Hello guys, it's me Rahul, I'll bring you guys some more. NHL 19, uh, uh, not London Hornarks, oh that's bad, my bad, uh, NHL 19 Colorado Rockies franchise. And we're starting off with a goal for Kilhorn. Yes, uh, Kilhorn. Um... I might be stopping now. This might be a very serious thing. You might be thinking, like, why I haven't been posting a lot of NBA 2K19. Well, that's because, like, I've been trying to break uh, as many records as I can, and it takes a lot of time. So what I might be doing is ending the series and focusing on a new series. That does come forth with having to end my... NBA 2K expansion series, which I have worked on very well, and it's really just an experimental series, and it's really fun, so I, I, I do enjoy it, but at the end of the day, I'm not going to enjoy uh, playing a game that a lot of people don't like, well, in my opinion, because NBA 2K20 now is a lot more interesting than I could ever ask for because now they allow custom builds and I want to try a build that nobody really thought thinks about because I want to try a Will Chamberlain build now you may be thinking like what Raul why in the world would you try a Will Chamberlain build or like I'm not going to say yeah, I'm going to do a Will Chamberlain build. I'm going to say like a different kind of build. You may be thinking, why? Well, that is because if I do a Wilt Chamberlain build, I can rack up more rebounds than ever because that's just what happens. As you can see, we're all obviously getting uh, a power play. Also, it's the end of the game, so... Like up Subban got a shutout and we did. It's crazy how we're managing to do this in one season. Like I never thought I could do that. It's really it really makes me happy. It honestly does. So also please be sure to drop a like it. Don't forget, don't forget to subscribe to ch this channel. Next up we're going up up against the floor of the Panthers. Now, this, uh, well, uh, this game was really defensive. I never really had a game this defensive before, and it's crazy. So, yeah. It's not that hard to understand, it's especially not that easy. To go up against a team like the Fuller Panthers, who are surprisingly bad, yet they're somehow, somehow and definitely good. The Florida Panthers, in my eyes, are one of those teams where they have not had success in the NHL yet. Yet, they have been to a Stanley Cup and not won it. Or they have, based on my knowledge of the team. And the Florida Panthers are the Boston Bruins division rival. Atlantic division rival. And look, we got our own goal. Oh my god, it was really bad. That bad, because at this point, I knew that I had to play up my game, and you know what? I tried. I tried my best. The problem was with the Florida Panthers is that they had. An insane defense. And Gorgeous got us a goal. In the middle, with a slap shot, and we got it. And, I mean, it's not that hard, is it? No, it's not that easy, is it? No. But, we gotta save. And I try to start a fight. Uh, that's not working out. Um, I've been doing a lot of 
a lot of things, good things, um, and having some ideas, so, like, also, another thing, I've been intrigued, guys, I'm just saying this right up front, I've been intrigued about a certain film soundtrack. If you guys know this soundtrack, you know what I'm talking about. It is called Hello Zep. Basically, it's from the Saw franchise, and what's it about? It's in. It's not about what the music is. Is that it's in the key of D minor. Um, and I've been wanting to have that soundtrack. As you can see, we lose. This soundtrack has been used throughout the, the course of the Saw franchise with a little bit of a twist. Basically, at the end of the films, it, it just depends on which film you watch. It changes based around the final victim's death. It... It, it it sounds hor uh, sounds very awful, but at the same time, it's interesting because the first ever one, which was Adam, which I saw in the film, uh, any spoilers, don't listen to this part, Hello Zep, that film, I mean, that soundtrack, was meant for another victim, but he died because Adam literally killed him. With, like, a toilet, like, lid. Yeah, he did that, and that's what happened. That, that casket tape. And then when Adam played it, the soundtrack played. And it was for Zep. It was originally for Zep. It was never meant for Adam. And that was the crazy part about that film. That final scene. When... John Kramer said game over. That noise in the background, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when it came all together, I knew that soundtrack was good. Because it was very good. Now, for the other deaths, like in Saw 2 and Saw 3, they were different. And what, so what the creators did for Longskate, Longskate and Twisted Pictures, who actually collaborated to make the Saw films, they decided, in my opinion, and I'm just saying this in my opinion, that they changed it based on the person's death. Now for Saw 2, the guy, the detective, Matthews, actually died in Saw 4, However, the, he was the victim of Saw 2, in a sense, because he was the final victim, well, the first test of a new apprentice, which was Amanda. You know what I'm talking about, about Saw 1, Saw 2, then you would know. For Saw 3, a casket tape by John Kramer to this one guy... Who sliced his throat open. Yeah, I know. That sounds disgusting. He basically said that he failed this test. And he wanted, if he were to knew his daughter was, he would have to play another game. That's the thing. The music changes based on the person's, the apprentice's final victim. That was, that's the whole point of like, Hello Zep. That original one. It's just that in a, in a weird way, Zep was not the final victim. John Kramer. Adam was the final victim of John Kramer. And that's very, very, very awesome. Well, very awful, but awesome at the same time. Because, yeah. So, for over the course of the films, if you do not know, Saw 1 goes first, 
and Saw 2. Saw 3 and 4 happen concurrently. So if you were to see Saw 3 and then see Saw 4, then you would understand. Like it takes in the same place of vicinity. I know 4, 5, 6, and 7 eight ish because of some I watched some films uh, like clips and stuff. Let me tell you they're not good. I don't recommend watching them unless you part of the heart and soul watching them. So Saw 4 that music changes because of Mark Hoffman's final victim. As you can see, there's a fight. The final victim for Hoffman was a guy who tried to save his partner, and he failed. So, a casket tape was played, and he died, bleeding, a loss of blood, you know, which is sad, because that's, that's how it works in the Saw games, really. It's just sad. And on top of this, Saw 5 was actually a lot different, the soundtrack especially, was a lot different from the first one. I'm comparing the fifth one to the first one. And there's a reason why. 2 through 4, I did not like at all. 1 to one and 5, I absolutely liked. Because of the fact that it added a different element to the... Saw game itself. I'm not talking about like how like everything happened. I'm talking about the game. So this Peter Strom was supposed to go in a glass box. Mark Hoffman came in. They both fought. Mark Hoffman put was put in the box. Casket tape was originally played. A stop by Strom, and then he later replayed that sort of section, and the soundtrack began. But this time, it was different because of his death. His eventual death. That's the thing. I reiterate this. Certain soundtracks, if there were, if there's multiple movies that are connected canon, the soundtrack will be different. Now, I know certain movies, like if they're canon and everything, they have different sound, separate soundtracks. But Saw is unique. The film franchise. Because of the fact that they had the same soundtrack. Except for every single movie. It is variant. Varianted. Just like with anything else. You could do this for anything else. For football. They have Canadian and Arena. They have the same rule, well, different rules, but they have the same scoring idea. Except for Canadian. They have that one point thing. I don't know what it is. But anyway. They have the same scoring idea. A touchdown is six points. A, a free kick, well, a point attempt is one. A field goal is three. A safety is two points. And that's it. Well, there's that one point safety, but that's really rare. Erosion in Canadian football is one point. A drop kick field goal in arena football is four points. That's the thing. There's different scoring methods, but the basis of football is the same. There's nine on nine football. That's rarely used. Eight on eight. Flat football, but they have the same rules. That is the same thing, the idea of the analogy that's used for Saw, what I'm trying to say. The soundtrack is different based on the person's death, the final victim, on the person's death for every single one of the films. Now this upcoming film that I'm going to talk about is called Spiral. Now here's the thing that I need to tell you guys. It is not... Well, you can interpret it as canon. It is canon-ish. However, it is not a sequel to 
jigsaw. Number one. Number two. It is not a reboot. So, we're going to have to consider, literally everyone, it is gonna be a spin-off for any new members. Also, it is going to come out March 16th. I will want to watch this because I'm a fan of I I'm a fan of Saw franchise. If you do not know, also another thing is I know I'm talking about this on my channel. I don't really talk about this, but well, about course some topics so like killing and stuff like that. But well, that's true. But at the end of the day, it is part of the movie. But the thing is, is this. This movie has a very clear point. Like, it, like, goes into the depths of mental health, which I'm really, like, curious about because, well, it's very objectifying and subjective in certain areas, but it has an ideology that I do not like. That everybody has to be rehabilitated. One, like, every single person has to be, like, changed one step at a time. However, to John Kramer's idea, it has to be through physical, mental, emotional torture. That is not right. I do not see that happening in real life. There are speculation, well, as far as I've heard from my mom, that it is based on a true story. If that is true, oh my god, what? I do not believe that. You can say what you want about me watching Saw 2, the first one, the second one, and the third one. But I was only thinking about the storyline and the mental health aspect about it. The reason why is because the Except for the deaths, okay, which I do not like because it's very, you cannot really watch it because like it's a trap and, oh my god, it's really like sad to talk about, but like, I do not like how, well, I wish it was GCI, okay, generated like it was like a computer version of it. Uh, for some reason, this saw, like, Lost Gate, Twisted Pictures decided to make it real life. It's really scary. It really is, because if that thing is put on you, you do not want, know what to do. It's really scary. Ah, uh, it's really scary. So, like, I don't know what to say. But, guys... I'm sorry for talking about this, about the Saw franchise. Hopefully YouTube does not age restrict this, but also uh, wreck my channel. So, yeah, I do want to say one thing about the Saw, like when I watched Saw 1, 2, and 3, I, I was fascinated about how the mental health aspect was so very, 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 like, different. Also, another thing said, the traps were very bad, not like any of them. Uh, like, if for any, every film, like, the traps were bad, I didn't like, I didn't like any of the traps. I like the storyline, I like the mental health aspect of it, I like the characters. Their personalities kind of fit with me. Like, I'm very ranting. I cuss a lot. Like, I don't do it on YouTube for specific reasons. It's a PG and everything. I do it outside. I admit that. I talk deep about certain things. Like, I believe in. I, I do certain things that I should not be doing. It's... It's not illegal things, okay? Um, and uh, many other things. 
As you can see, we're up against the Chicago Blackhawks. I'm sorry about not talking about the video, but I'm really bored, so, you know. Another major thing about this is that I do want to say one thing. This video, okay, is like, I want to talk about certain things, like, especially about any show and that stuff. However, I really wanted to talk about the soft franchise to you guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that review of the soft franchise. Also, another thing. There are two video games of the soft franchise. Yeah. One of them is the first one, the original one. The thing, thing, main thing you have to take part is that, is that David Cap. I've seen the footage. And if you want to play the video game, yeah, I don't really recommend it, but I've seen the footage from this one guy. I'm going to have to spoil it, so turn off the section. Basically, if you go to the end of the video, I mean the end of the game, you're given two chances. The key. One of them leads to freedom. One of them leads to the truth. The truth actually goes to this one girl named Melinda, who was David Tapsman's wife. They have a child. And David Tapsman's friend sadly dies because of a trap by John Kramer. So what happens is that Melinda has to find the son, wants to find the son, but secretly was hoping with John Kramer is the temporarily mouth, like unable to speak, like yeah, and it didn't sound nice. So what happened is that if you were to look, he she posted the same trap, sadly dies, that doll crackles with laugh, David Tap at the asylum, his fate is on them. But if you were to go to the freedom one, it's known that David Tapp sadly passed away because of, um, because of something. I don't know, but it's something. That, the freedom one, is canon. Which is actually surprising because then this video game, except for the truth part, is canon in the Saw franchise with Saw 1, then Saw the video game, and then Saw 2. Which makes sense, actually. So then, what happens? Is that they decided to make another video game. It is called Saw 2 Flesh and Blood. What is interesting about this, which is actually pretty strange, is because there are two endings. However, you have to achieve the endings in the beginning of the game, except this one guy. You either blo uh, the path of blood or flesh. The way you achieve the path of blood is that you have to survive a sort of trap and then the end, at the end of the game, Tap's son has to die, which is really sad. And then you find out about the ending. For the path of blood, flesh, the guy at the beginning of the game has to die. And then Tap's son has to survive. At that point, there are two, like, endings. Where he could gain his freedom, or become John Kramer's apprentice. It is not made, but it is. Um, and both of those games received bad, like, crit critics, and I don't support them even though I watch the game. The only reason why I watch some of the Saw clips is because, like I said, storyline, uh, mental health aspects, and, and, um, Characters, yeah. So enough about the Saw preview. Overview. 
Going spiral. Let us get back to the video. Alright. That's a weird transition. The interesting part about the NHL 19 is I don't have NHL 20 yet. I do, it's just I need to find it. It is that. <laughs> how, like, how, what difficulty you want. How it's going to be played. Today, we are going to, we are currently playing against Pittsburgh Penguins. You probably saw the other games. We won. We lost. It's okay. But, the main thing is, is that the saw, uh, if they were to add other elements into the game, that would be awesome. And you may be thinking, like, what kind of elements? Well, and you can be able to get uh, proper technicals, well, proper technical fouls, uh, well, proper game is conducts, actual fights, where you can actually fight a guy, bully fights, like, you don't have to, like, have your guy, like, go up front, and so and so. I know what you may be thinking, like, well, why are you saying that? Well, there's a good reason. Ah, uh, yeah, it's really sad how I'm talking about this, but... Uh, I do like the fact that how we are able to get a different kind of vibe throughout this game. It really is. I do like uh, some of the certain games that we're playing, some of the certain series, some of the, some of the certain everything. It really is. And as you can see, Claire McDavid got a cold. Yeah, it's really happy. It really is. Well, that's the weird thing, like, I was going through a transition from Saw, like, overview to this. It's really hard because it really affects my mind. Now, certain things, like, many of the, many of the things you, I mentioned in the video, it really saddens me. But, like I said in the video, I do like it for three specific reasons. For reasons. It, Including the soundtrack, Hello Sunday. So, let's just look at that. I will try to move on. But anyway, we are currently up like by five goals. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty amazing. And then, uh, and then I got a boarding. Um, yep. If, like, they have like it's like a punching like thing in hockey. It is a warning penalty. Now, if you do not know, it might be a pro series for um my center number eleven Rahul. I told one time that I got a game misconduct. Here is how I got the game misconduct. Okay, so one time off camera, I was playing the Ottawa Senators. This is true. And then, I got a boarding penalty. Or interference, it is uh, either one. Yeah, actually, it might be interference. Yeah, interference. So, then I got into a fight. I think I won. Actually, I, I won. Yeah. And then... I gotta make game misconduct. So yeah, I thought yeah. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Y'all are really just my podcast for me. I will see y'all in my next video. Peace.